Today on Blog Success Journal, we're talking about seven alternatives or additions to Google Analytics. Love different options, mm -hmm. love it. All right, and today's show is brought to you by friends at HostGator, the only web host that we actually recommend to our own friends and family when they ask. And true Dana Jennifer fashion, we got you a really sweet deal. Go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash HostGator and start your own blog today for just one penny. So no excuse for you not to have your own blog in just a few minutes from now. Okay, first one, Chartbeat. Love Chartbeat, where Google Analytics currently is delayed. I know they're testing some real-time stuff, but for now, there's a delay. Chartbeat has no such delay. You know right now how many people are on your site, what article they're reading, it's awesome. And they also have lots of cool features, okay, including modern retweets and brand awareness. People are mentioning you, you can see that with Chartbeat. At a glance. At a glance, it's great. And also the first month is free, but after that it's only 10 bucks a month, okay, so it's very reasonable. We use it, it's a good tool. Yeah. Now, number two, Mint, refreshing. It sounds refreshing, doesn't it? You can't argue that. 30 bucks for a site license, it has a feature called Bird Feeder, it lets you view subscription stats, click-throughs all in one location, a clear breakdown of searches from regular search and Google limit search, so it's another option. Okay, the third one is Woopra. Woopra. Okay. Really cool interface, guys. Okay, I love the interface on this one. It was actually developed by former Google employees, and all the data is live. So you and here's the thing: you can actually chat with visitors on your site. That's kind of weird. I don't know Could if I want to do that, but you can do it. So like support, it gives you a support option, and you can also receive an alert. And this is really great for you guys who have products that you're trying to sell. You can actually get an alert when someone clicks on your buy button. Okay, that is very powerful, yeah. and they have live chat customer support, which is awesome as well. The whole chat with your visitor, that's just be creepy. I see you're browsing a porn section. Would you like to buy something? I don't think it's like that. I think it's more like on Nordstrom or something. You know, if you need help, you can chat yeah. with somebody kind of thing. So it doesn't have to be creepy, but it can be. Number four, reinvigorate. <laughs> you can see visitors land on your site or on your blog in real time. Real time is nice. Are you seeing the trend? More of these services mm -hmm. are starting to offer the real time option. You send an email, you want to know if you're driving traffic to your site. Right? That's then. true. So, real time is nice. Now, it allows you to be notified on goals, like somebody clicking on a buy button, for example. So, that's nice notification on goals. Heat maps, it does have a heat map implementation, so you can have a, a visual guide of where your visitors are going. Heat maps are a very powerful feature, so this does offer some of that functionality. Okay, the fifth one is clicky. I like that one. It sounds good. Clicky. Not like C L I C Q U. Is that how you spell that? Anyway, but clicky, like click. Okay, you can monitor a number of different things, like Twitter followers, for example. And you also, they have an iPhone version, which is kind of cool, so you can see everything on the go. And here's the thing, it's free if you have less than 3,000 website visitors. Now, here's the thing, it's a very simple tool, so it's not gonna provide the details like Google Analytics does, Analytics does, but if you're a beginner, sometimes all those details can be overwhelming. So this is a great tool for beginners if you just want the basic information. Yeah, and you know, as a beginner, you want the basic info, you want it free and all that, initially yeah. at least. Now, another one, number six, Peewick? Peewick. All right, open source analytics tool, becoming somewhat possible. Corporate institutions don't want to share data with Google. All right, if you have Google Analytics, which is may well be the best platform out there, yes, it is free, but- They know everything Google about you. know everything about you. Of course, they probably do anyway. So anyway, if you don't want them to know anything about you, you do have certain options like Peewick. Anyway, easy installation, very fast and loading up different screens. It's another option. It's another option. Okay, and number seven, the Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay, now this is from Microsoft, so if you're very anti-Google, this may be an option for you. Um, basically, they've incorporated Yahoo search data into their analytics reports. Now, it, the account is, that, that doesn't even make sense to me. I'm sorry, my notes are kind of messed up. Anyway, it's got a clean interface, fast stats. Do you know what that means? I have no clue. I can't read my own notes. Sorry, something to do with 30% of all web searches. Oh, oh I think no, of being Yahoo in Yahoo, and being Bing. In Yahoo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is, 30%. So remember we were talking about the yeah. okay. So cool. you're getting decent metrics, but remember it's only 30%. Yeah. Of course, on your side, maybe all of it. Maybe. <laughs> so it depends on you. It depends on where your traffic yeah. fix is coming from. But you should be using that one anyway because you should. it's search engines. You should know what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. It's important. Now, don't forget to go to blogsuccessional.com slash HostGator and get your own blog today for just a penny. One think penny. Of, yeah, really. Take advantage of that while it's still available. Okay, guys. What is your favorite web analytics tool? What do you use on your site? Leave a comment and tell us why.